Hi, I'm Grant Whitehead and this is TriCaster Mini maxed out. <laughs> what I've been trying to do is do as many inputs and outputs as I possibly can on the TriCaster Mini and see how it goes. So as you can see here, I've managed to get uh, one, two, three, four, five independent uh, full HD outputs from the TriCaster. On top of that, I've got the case screen is going and the interface is working as well. So that's on the outputs. I've got seven screens running off that tiny box. Uh, the inputs, let's, let's step through the inputs quickly. So this is a GoPro uh, 1080 30p plugged HDMI straight in. This is that, that camera I'm just talking to, that's as a live input. This input is running from a laptop and uh, that's working well on HDMI. This input is running from a Ninja, an Atmos, uh, Atomos uh, Ninja 2. It just is some content that's playing off of that. Then we go into NDI. So now I've got three inputs, one, two, three inputs that are all running on NDI and they are all running off one laptop using um, Kane Peterson's uh, application that uses the NDI plugin for VLC player. And that uh, you can see here, that page is where you can get that from Kane. Great work, it works so well. Um, and, and so that is, there's three clips that are running off the one PC um, and you can see them there all working seamlessly. And then the final NDI input is a camera um, on my iPhone working really well. Now you can do a higher res than that as well. Um, I was just not trying to push the Wi-Fi too much, but it's, it's working really well. So that's that. And then of course I've got DDR inputs. So two DDR inputs are playing content there. And I've just added some animated frame buffers there as well. So you can see those. And it's working tremendously well. So the other thing you can do um, when I've been playing around is you can, you can mess around with that, that input there. Turn that position on. Go to a input like four. No, I'm already using four. You're already using them. What else have we got? Five. Input five. There we go. So now when we go to mix effect four on the output, uh, it's just, <laughs> it really is just endless what you can do. There we go. <laughs> so now you see input one is my program. There's six layers of content going on there. Input two, so, so, let's, so let's look at, this is the other thing, is that the mix effects um, are all independent. And so if I do a take, you see here on three, look at that. I'm doing an animated, transition so it's a seamless transition and now that's on all four of them I'll do that again you might not be able to see it on four four is you get the idea they're completely independent if I was to do it on here you'd be able to see mix effect two mix effect Three. You can imagine the sort of macros that you could set up with this. 
x effect four. So when I go to three, auto, and you can see that working on the output, of course, as well. So the mind boggles as to what you could do with this. Um, with so many outputs, it's essentially uh, four HDMI inputs, but then four NDI inputs, or even those HDMI can be NDI as well, so you can have eight NDI inputs, and then four outputs, and then if you use the multi-viewer in full screen mode, you can get a fifth output. Um, and so, <laughs> just lots, <laughs> just lots. Um, and it works so well. I'm super impressed with what's capable. I continue to be more and more impressed with the TriCaster Mini with Advanced Edition number two. Number three is out now. Um, so there's a few extras on that that I'd like to play with. Um, but even just with Advanced Edition 2, um, it's incredible what you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've got any questions or challenges for me. I'd be up for it. And uh, have a good day. See ya.